Hello, AFL Nation. We're on the set of AFL Nation. I'm Rick Corey along with Jerry Kerr, the commissioner of the league. And first of all, I like that pen. That signifies something very special. Absolutely. It's brand new. It's our 25th anniversary, silver anniversary. Started the day after Arena Bowl 24. We're in our 25th season. That's amazing. And so this year, instead of having the red, white, and blue pins, mm -hmm. red, white, and blue logo as the preeminent logo, we'll still have that. But it's our silver anniversary, so we're going to really push that. And that tells you an awful lot about this league. And I'd love to start with Arena Bowl, but we'll get to that in a second because you couldn't have had a better ending. Oh. Well, let's talk about the season overall. Second year of a quote-unquote new league. Your thoughts? It was such a relief to have more than 75 days to get stuff done. Did we do everything right? No. Did we do so much more that we wanted to do last year that we couldn't? We did this year? A absolutely. From A to Z. Uh, absolutely ecstatic. We added the new teams. Uh, they did extremely well. Pittsburgh was our expansion team. They did tremendous. Jacksonville, second year team in the league, won the championship. Uh, storybook ending, what we'll, we'll talk about. But uh, we did so much better. Our website was 180 degrees better. Uh, play was better, officiating we took in-house was, was better as well. We've still got a way to go, but I, I, I'm happy and happy that once again we'll have a full off-season to get all the work done for the season. You know, they always tell you that you have your best growth between game one and game two. Was that the case with you guys year one to year two you had that spurt? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there was a lot to do that we, as we talked about before, didn't have enough time to do, but we've got that now and we had it last year. And this year we learned a lot of things that we need to do even better to deliver more to our fans, and, and we will. We've got all 18 teams back, and that's tremendous. That hasn't happened in a long time. Uh, great committed ownership, uh, great leadership uh, within the league, with the teams, uh, tremendous players. So I expect an awful lot more from everyone for next season. Yeah, you always have great hopes. What is, is there a thing or two that you really hope does take some big steps next year? I, I want our fans to be happy. Uh, a lot of our fans, uh, I think, have forgotten that we had to come back from the ashes. I wrote a letter to the fans at the end of the season. Wrote it at the beginning, also wrote one at the end. At the end, I, I told them, as much as we've done, we've got so much more to do, but we also have to remember that two years ago we weren't playing. And, and I know our fans want everything that they had before. Things come in time, and we've got to do it the right way. The game wasn't broken. I've always said that and I always keep saying that. The game wasn't broken. The model. The broken. model was broken and we fixed the model. We've got to do better for our players, got to do better for our coaches, and, and we'll get there. But if we do that too soon, we won't be here next year. Sure. So it's got to be a progression. Well, I know as a guy who's been around it now for seven years myself, both AF2 and this new league, the, the level of play really jumped. The kind of players jumped. Where these players came from no. jumped. Had to really be pleased with that. You really saw it differently, I thought. Oh, no, absolutely. As, especially as a guy who was a former player. Uh, knowing the level of play needed to get better, uh, it, it absolutely was there. Uh, a lot of pundits, people who I talked about it in media day at the Arena Bowl, never strapped it on, has, have never taken a step in, in a player's shoes, don't understand what our players do day in, day out to, to get better, uh, to make this league better and write about that our teams this year in the Arena Bowl uh, couldn't hold a candle to their predecessors. Uh, I think they were all wrong. I told them, I said that was bull. Uh, that's as far as I went at media day, but I think the best thing was is that the game itself demonstrated that the players are as good as they ever were, uh, broke all sorts of records, storybook ending, but it was a storybook ending that was worked for. It wasn't like something that was just given to Aaron Garcia. Uh, he had a full team around him, and the Arizona Rattlers were tremendous as well. But I'm pleased about that because our players need to be vindicated all the time. Not in their mind, but too often people equate that what a player makes designates and distinguishes how, what level of pro they are, and that doesn't. It. It's how they play designates and, and shows what level of professionalism. In about a half minute, um, which Hollywood writer wrote your ending? Because that was as good a Shoot. game as you could ask. It, it was. And as, as pleased as I am uh, that Aaron got that storybook ending, if there was a writer putting the script together, it would have been the home team in front of their over 14,000 fans uh, who would have won on the last play. So that just shows again, it's a game that's competitive. 
And remember, this guy right here also played for Chuck Fairbanks at OU, so he knows what he's talking about. Always a pleasure, Commissioner Jerry Kurz. Remember, too, more AFL Nation all through the offseason right here, and you can find us as well at AFL.com.